Welcome back. You know, freaking uh, dreams uh, of you to get out. Garofalo opened Welcome Back Carter. Really? And she she was in the skit on SNL, and she picked the card of the girl that she played, which That's was Chaplin's crazy. wife. Raise Julia. Her name was yeah, Julia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insane. Wow. It was insane. Who is off to need you? Who is the right there where we need you? There. Well, we tease them a lot because we got them on the spot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Tonight we're going to see a show that's filled with comedy and Comedians open cards! It's Comedians Opening Cards, no coffee, and I'm here with Mike Ro Michael Rowland. Yeah, baby. Right outside of the uh, cellar. Comedy cellar. Awesome. Yes. Rocking it tonight. So, what we got... So, well, it's up to you. So there's just a whole bunch of different cards, different packs. Something might jar your memory from childhood, from something. You pick whatever you choose something. First thing I'm seeing is Ninja Turtles. Yes. Yes. Ninja Turtles is a, is a, is a uh, uh, canon open Ninja Turtles. Uh, a different pack, you know, yeah. Oh, sorry? Uh, Mike Cannon, I have oh, many Mike packs. Oh, Mike Cannon open. Cannon open that, the oh, same, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I love Cannon. Yeah. I love you, Mike Cannon. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just go ahead? You just open them up, and so why did you pick that? Well, I love the Ninja Turtles. I want to see this new movie that they just released, because they've been fucking up the Ninja Turtle movies for years, and I heard this new one's good. Ooh, and it's, and it's been out for a little while, right? Because I... Yeah. I it's think Ken has seen, seen it. it. I think and he, th I think he said, maybe he took oh, his kid yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. I think he said it was good. Oh, of yeah, course. his kid's four. And his and he I think I saw Cannon again. He's like, Yeah, he loved the card. So I, uh, I got a Ninja Turtles pack. I did so because my four year old son is currently getting into them for the first time. Oh, we just perfect. saw their movie. It fucking ruled. Really? <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it really they, did. They created the comic in Dover, New Hampshire. Really? Yeah. Oh. So but well they were in that thing, and then there's another town in Mass that claims something because I no think they kidding. moved there. But I Wasn't think it, I thought it was Japanese. No, it was two like white dudes. <laughs> they made it in Dover, New Hampshire. So Dover wanted it to feels make, very Japanese. They wanted they Japanese. wanted like put in a put in a sewer thing, you know, yeah, a sewer yeah. cover. Yeah. But because it's in the middle of the road, they're like, well, we have to put a fake one on the sidewalk because we can't have it in the middle of the road where people go take pictures and get hit by a car. Oh, damn. Which is just in November 1983, while living in Dover, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird created a cast of ninja weapon-wielding turtles during a late-night drawing session. Amused by the absurdity of the idea, the duel developed the story of four teenage turtle brothers, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. The one-shot comic published independently by Mirage Studios on Union Street debuted in 1984. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soon became a full comic series and ultimately an international multimedia franchise. And down there's the other plaque. Uh, down there, we'll go Show there. Show the cards. These are like, the old school. Yeah. Okay. So we got Raphael. And that's probably a sticker. Here. That's my brother's favorite. Mm. Oh, that's a sticker, so that's not a card. I believe, got yeah. Metamorphosis. Because it has the puzzle on the back, too. Metamorphosis. I assume this is the turtles turning into their ninja selves as little turtlings. We have turtles, no way. Huh. It's a lady with a machine gun. Well, that's a weird one. <laughs> it's a weird one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. remember that episode. Wow, that's a crazy card. 88 cards. Oh, that's a cool stickers. one. Is this a good one? Oh, well, it's just cool that it has all four. Does it? Yeah, it's got all oh, four. Oh, but it's this is like an. I'm I'm seeing these with different packs. It's an advertisement card for the whole thing. It's telling you. Yeah. Oh, which is weird. It's not like a card from the show. It's yeah. like. It's just telling you. It's just spurring you on to collect. It's almost like a ripoff. Like, what am I getting this? I mean, it is kind of cool. Of course. Oh, okay. This one is great. This is a man and his turtles. We have Splinter, who's just hanging out with his turtles wow. <laughs> and a quill pen before they're all covered in ooze. It's Wait, like a is this... What the fuck? Did Splinter turn into a rat because of the ooze? Or did he... I don't know. Now I feel stupid. There's like a mystery going on now. Yeah, well, because probably you saw that a long time ago. I love where it took forward... Time later, a motto. motto. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And then, of course, we have the diabolical doom. Oh, that's cool. I like that card. I feel like I failed in my knowledge of Ninja Turtles here. Well, it's end. not. It's it's whatever, whatever. You know. Did yeah. you have a Did you have a favorite one? Because you said your brother's day oh, had a dude, favorite. I always, you know, I liked Michelangelo because of the Michael name, but I also like Donatello. 
because he used his mind and he fought with a stick. I thought fighting with a stick was cool. Right, right, right. To just beat a motherfucker down with a long pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Who was it? Hey, hey James Matzer, how's it going? Cards. What's up, James? Who was it? Gastor, I think, liked Michelangelo the best. Oh, yeah. Michelangelo's the hottest yeah. number. My brother liked Raphael the best because he's temperamental. Yeah. And then, I mean, you gotta be, you got to be a bit of a brown noser to like Leonardo. I think that's agreed upon. But, you know, that's one man's opinion. Yeah. Um, everybody wanted to be Leonardo or uh, growing up because they wanted to be the leader. And then as they got older, everybody wants to be Raphael because they become like emo adults. Huh. All right? But I'm a purist. I'm Michelangelo. I like the fun of it. Plus, if you keep up with the current ones, he actually becomes like jaded and angry. So you get the full emotional growth. Wow. So yeah. 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 Now, I mean, I know I was nerding out like this, but it's dope. <laughs> That's what it's all You're about. Hurt? Word up, Stop B. playing with me. Real talk, y'all don't know about this, B. Stop I'm playing with me. Real talk. on the block, yo. Real talk. I'm telling you, so we come up in the air, your whole shit out, son. All day. <laughs> Plus, I got a kid knock about all this shit and yeah. be like, yo, this is for you, but nah, fuck you, B. It's yeah. for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eat the gum. Real talk. I, you know, I was like probably the wrong age for them. I was like a little too old. Yeah. But oddly, they were the town. I live now next to the town where the two dudes were when they invented it. Really? Because they probably went to UNH or something. Yeah. And they, they invented it in Dover. Oh, no And shit. then they moved, like, because they got the comic. Like, there's Comic Book Day, which is in, like, the, the person who first, like, published that thing is in Summers World or... or Roch in Rochester, yeah. which is like one town up, so it's like a big line for that specific one. Because, How do you know? Because I live in the town next door. Oh, so people are talking about it. People well, it's like, just weird thing you know because because in the local paper they mentioned that the freaking um they wanted someone wanted to pay money to put in a sewer yeah, like, so cover cool. in the you know oh, in the street yeah, yeah, yeah. and pay whatever. And it was like oh it'll be like it was so it was like three or five hundred dollars. Like that seems like nothing or whatever. Oh. It was nothing. But then the the town was like, well, we can't put it. In the street, because people will go out, they'll get hit by a car, so we got to do a whole different thing in the sidewalk, and then it became a bigger freaking deal. So it, it hasn't happened yet. So it's no longer that like three hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. So, so I don't. This know. is where the birthplace of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles happened. The building would have been there. Uh, it's comedians opening cards, no coffee. Well, well I yeah. appreciate you letting me open these cards. Do I awesome. Keep the Did cards? you sign one? Oh, here I'll sign one. Yeah. Let's sign. What's uh? How long have you been doing comedy? Oh, probably 10, 10 years. Awesome. Oh, and you're freaking years. doing it in the goddamn... Uh, doing it at the freaking goddamn comedy show, baby. You, yes. I... Now I'm starting to remember your face. God damn, you made me... I'm sure I've laughed hysterical. I hope so. God damn. I have some good ones, I have some bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight was a good one, so I was really uh, good. Well, I Tonight missed it, but I'm good. getting people out here, so... See, awesome. Babe. If Pretty you nice want the other you. cards, you're more than welcome to have yeah, them. I'll take it with awesome. you. Awesome. Perfectly cool. Thank, Thank you, you so awesome. much. Have a great night, Michael. Yeah, you too. Nice to meet you. I'm on the stage right now with David Bacon. Woo! Right behind you. turned towards me and opened it, and I like had to freaking give him that hug because it was, it was like such hate coming from him. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, like I don't know what to do with these politicians this year. There's a lot more hate than usual. Uh, like in the past, I mean, I've given like Obama a picture of my uh, shit, and uh, <laughs> same with that Clinton lady, and same with uh, that New York uh, mayor guy when he was like, because uh, he was like the, maybe gonna win the primary thing in New Hampshire like 12 years ago. But this shit is like hate, so I don't know. I met Trump. Uh, I asked if I could give him a hug. Uh, the Secret Service didn't really think that was a good idea. Uh, Trump's funny as fuck. I laughed three times. Uh, he gave me a hat. He signed it. Uh, uh, it was scary on the Secret Service. Uh, 
They played like there was like a long. I snuck into the freaking thing. Uh, it was all it's like the possible forty-four possible delegates for the New Hampshire thing, and then like me. Uh, fuck! I, I I didn't know what to do with him. Like I mean, I met. I think I was up here before. I talked about uh, what's his name, the guy who's president now, before he was president. And how he's like that snowman, melty guy who comes alive and goes like, Happy birthday! <laughs> but Trump, like, freaking... God, he kind of... He, supposedly, like, if you make people laugh, they trust you. And Trump makes you laugh. And I think that's why people trust him. Even though... Dude, he's not telling you the truth. <laughs> but that laugh, I mean, I don't... He fucking... I mean, and I... Then I saw he's like signing in the thing, and they had like the curtains up, and so you're like, I mean, I, what's her name, Haley? I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, but I didn't mean to be. This isn't racist, but I did say. <laughs> I just asked her if I thought if she thought it was ironic that Indians were taking over America. Uh, but Trump's funny. It makes you laugh, and I'm scared of that fucker. But hey, thank you very much. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thanks, Thanks so Dave. Much.